I better not. <laughs> bye bye. Hi, Leather Rock here. Welcome to my channel. Do you like my new Trump shirt? It's a little too short to wear as a dress. I tried it and it was moon over Miami time. And I'm not in Florida, honey. So um, I bet I could wear it over a bathing suit uh, when the sun goes down, though. So um, I want you to focus on my makeup because I'm about to show you how I did it. It's a real simple look using the Blue Moon palette by ColourPop. Um, I found a way, by the way, to keep the lettering from rubbing off on these palettes. When they come in the packaging, there is a film that covers the mirror. And what I did was I took that mirror film and I just put it over top of the lettering so that I don't rub it off. Because I discovered with my first palette of theirs, I rubbed up almost everything from the It's My Pleasure palette. And it, this packaging is pretty attractive and why let it, uh, why, why ruin it? So by doing that, it looks a little crappy, but at least it's keeping the name on. So to refresh you guys' memory, this is the blue thing, uh, the blue palette from ColourPop. And I really love these monochromatic palettes so much, especially if you're a color matcher like I am. And you want to just, and you know that I say, yeah, I'm going on a trip and I know I'm going to have a lot of patriotic wardrobe and I'm going to have, this is my color scheme. It's so much fun to have one palette of the blue, it's monochromatic, and then maybe another palette with red or maybe find one of those uh, single jelly uh, uh, colors like I got this uh, red shade. Uh, it's so much fun playing with the monochromatic stuff and this is so easy and so simple because blue can get obnoxious real easy and I discovered as I've been playing around with this uh, almost every day this week I've been working just with this palette exclusively. Part of it was because I was a little stressed out about my computer situation but one of the things I noticed about this if say you use four or five colors of this palette by the end of the day, they'll start to blend together and it'll almost look like you just have one color on anyway. So with blue and also because of the tendency to them to get obnoxious, less is more. And sometimes only using two colors instead or even one, you can get quite good looks. So let me show you how I got it all done. But first, let me tie my hair back. And uh, son of a bitch went under the bed, you know. Now I have to worry about if he doesn't like not being able to get out, he might uh, get on. I have a little table where the other computer is and oh, I could see that he gets his fat butt on there. Or if he gets on the TV remote and uh, he might change channel to CNN or something. So um, I was trying to find, think of name for this makeup look and I know that I find it hard to avoid controversy and I'm going to end up offending half of you guys. I was trying to think of a name for this look, and this is going to be totally shitty for SEO, but I was thinking easy pale blue, like Democrats whiny about the foiled uh, Trump impeachment attempt, you know. Um, it's like a sky glue, well, sky blue, did you hear that? What, are you offended? What are you, Democrat this whole time? Oh, winky winky, he's giving me the... Winky winky, the kitties do. Oh, no, I didn't screw up with the earrings. Uh, I know this looks weird because of pink and the orange, but when I got this shirt, I noticed there's a whole lot of orange in this, and uh, orange and red, and um, I am doing two videos back to back today. I was wearing pink previously, and since pink is part of the look, and uh, yet this, uh, this has blue in it, and anyway, long story short, I have reason uh, to wear some pink and I had reason to wear orange. And I can't take off this lip color easily because it's one of those semi-permanent colors. Matter of fact, it's this one right here. Uh, Maybelline Color Stay 24 Hour Super Stay, excuse me. And this goes on. I'm not going to take this on, off and reapply it. This goes on as a liquid that you put to your clean lips after your foundation's already on and then when it's dry then you coat it with this clear and this I put this on like maybe an hour ago my finger is clean so this should not get off on 
your uh, coffee cup or something actually let's find out that is clean as clean as a mug that I've used for two days okay but yeah no transfer I would imagine that let's see um the only thing that really transferred for the most part was foundation I mean any any lipstick color was neg negligible <clears throat> so anyway let's get started um I am almost all out of that oil or maybe I can't find it so I went and I got some salad oil this is just um like uh, corn oil and uh sunflower oil or whatever and I put it in one of those little Chinese spoons that they use for the hors d'oeuvres and stuff uh, I'm going to try not to get this into the eyebrow color because uh I don't want to waste too much time tinkering with that but what I used for the eyebrows was a gray pencil from a German company it says charcoal frost made in Germany um my mother didn't care for this eyebrow color she thought it looked rather severe she thought it looked rather black but um it was convenient I thought it would look better than one of those colors that looked way too pink or that looked way too blue and uh I thought that ironically as my roots grow in it would kind of look better I I I don't mind it if my eyebrows look kind of dark I I think that's much better than having pale see-through eyebrows that are so pale that there's such a pale red that they're practically like glass it's kind of you know you who have dark naturally yeah if you have naturally dark brows you you're very lucky um I mean I have it uh, that is the shape they are I love the shape of them oh I'm so glad I stopped over plucking you know you do that too many times and your hair start growing back whenever I dye my eyebrows I used to do that really frequently I used to use different kind of hennas and then when I got that contact dermatitis you know and as bad as yucky as that was I was blistering and scaly and there's a video I will uh, hopefully drop that in the comments I mean not the comments in the uh, show notes but I learned my lesson about that and they taught us in beauty school that once you get any kind of allergic reaction to something if you use that product again you'll get it again the reaction but even way worse and imagine having yucky blisters oozing and scaling right around your eyes that's not cool and everything that you do to treat it uh or they uh you know uh like uh vitamin e and mostly time is all you could really do in aloe vera uh that you can't put makeup on for the time that that's going on and you look it, it's not fun well actually you can do some makeup but just it's um anyway there's I'll link the video about it but I can never use those dyes again and so that means having to use makeup every day and I don't the reason one of the reasons why I don't do uh 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 starting off with the and then do the eyebrow stuff it just it takes too long it, it's like if you ever have the times when even when you're applying your lipstick and you know you have to be out the door by a certain time because you've got things to do and for some reason your hand and it's and you know that lipstick is something that should be idiot proof but you your hand shaky for whatever reason you can't get uh, it on right and it's so frustrating because you're thinking it's lipstick it's not rocket science but you know you got to be out the door and you get it crooked and everything and I'm walking and, I, and sometimes I look at videos and it looks like my mouth's crooked and it drives me batshit so anyway um the foundation that I've been using this is the tail end of a uh, color mates co compact makeup in the color light this is what it looks like when you get it fresh and this is not fresh I just I've been wanting to use this up so that I can put it get rid of it and put it in my empties so um I don't know if it's worth uh I, I don't do empties every month but I really would like to uh make one so that I can get rid of the packaging you know so anyway I use this not only all over my face but I also use this as my only eye primer because I wanted something nice and opaque and nice and sticky and I didn't want to use any of the primers so I'm going to I hear you oh 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 before I do mess with any of that what I should have done 
I was handling my cat. My cat, I love him, but he's a germy son of a bitch. And you really shouldn't be having cat butt germs on your face. That's not cool. So I'm using uh, uh, wet ones. I hear you. I hear you. You want to see, want to see people? Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. Oh my goodness. Everybody fucking hears you now. And this makes a lot of sense because I'm just talking about your kitty germs. Your kitty germ. Yes, you want to tell everybody, want to complain to everybody about how you just want to leave my room. And I bet you don't have to go to the litter box. I bet you just want to go down the hall. You want to see uh, some buddy else you want to see her you want to see him you don't want to be in my video but then if i don't let you out when you want it then you'll find a piece of paper and you go wee 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 and i'll be very upset with you you're a little peeing son of a bitch yes you are he's a pisser he's a pisser but not as bad as ace was i miss ace yeah i have earlier videos of mine you'll find you'll see ace the cat i miss him Yes, I miss him. And Tabby Boy wasn't very nice to him either. And then Tabby Boy, but uh, the Cassie, and you see now you're getting your come up and you were mean to Ace the Cat, and now Cassie is mean to you. Oh, kitty, kitty, kitty. Now, let me finish cleaning off my hands so we can get started. I am going to put some more of this around my eyes. I'm going to go ahead and use the mirror that came with this palette and it's easy to get more than you need so what I'm going to do is now if I wanted to I could have used an eye cream first before putting this on but for the sake of time I'm not going to bother if you're doing this in real life you should really not stretch the area around the eyes I'm kind of because I'm feeling impatient. It's better to, instead of stretching like this, it's really better to press it in. And the, another nice thing about pressing it is if you have any fine lines or wrinkles or anything like that, that will push it all the way into them. So maybe they won't accentuate them so much, but of course it's hard to say. It always does, you know. It's just something's going to happen. If you see that anything seems accentuated, just press. Press, press, press. Without, of course, mixing the eyebrow makeup with... Now, you know what? I see that I have to fix the eyebrow makeup some. It's a little thinner on this side. I hate it when they're not symmetrical. I really try for symmetry as much as possible. Whether or not that's even achievable, especially... When you're talking about if you didn't have any makeup at all and you were blessed with uh, dark brows, getting them perfectly symmetrical is a very hard thing to do. And if these are a little on the thick side, so what? I think they're cool. So anyway, the first thing that we are going to do, and you'll be surprised how simple this is. Let me make sure that I have the right brush. Oh, I need the big brush. The big fucking brush. Where the hell is it? If I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Here, 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 here it is. This is a wet and wild. This is supposed to be a crease brush. But in my opinion, it's way too big to be a crease brush. And I am going to dip it into the palest shade in this palette. It's called Lumi. L-U-M-I. Now, if you ask me, it should have been called Moonlight because the palest blue shade is called Moonlight. And but but then again, this is like a pressed glitter almost, so it's more it's luminous. And this Moonlight is matte, so I guess I should just shut up and put whatever it is. This is called Lumi. It's very glittery and glimmery and iridescent, and I'm loading this brush with it real good. And I am going to cover this. Uh-oh, you know what? I better let him out so he doesn't go to the bathroom on my floor. Go. Go, little pissing son of a bitch. Go. Oh, my God. All right. I am going to 
try to put some eyeshadow on my face now that I'm not going to have him threatening to befoul my premises. Uh, start right where your eyebrow ends and try not to get any in there, but it's probably inevitable that some's going to get in there. And if it ha does, just go back at the pencil and touch it up. Just cover it. Try not to smear it though. You need some more on here. Put some more on. And I'm taking it all the way to maybe a half an inch. Okay. I'm going to, this will serve two purposes. It'll certainly give this color, this pale iridescent ethereal color. But it'll also make up for some of the, um, the when you put an eyeshadow on a very tacky surface, it's very hard to blend that shadow. And with blues, they can get really obnoxious real quick. And you want to be able to allow for some blending or to be careful in how much you use, especially if it's above the crease. And by prepping this and making this area not tacky, the next color I put on, it won't migrate too far above the crease line because we're really not we're not going for that typical, easily obnoxious blue look. Not that we're crying for subtle. Subtle was not my thing, not my style. But, uh, because I'm going the whole point of this makeup look is to use some unorthodox, unexpected colors. So, oh, uh, and here goes an earring. Oh, well. All right, now. I am going to use this brush from Vivace that I got at the 99 cent store. It's an interesting brush that seems to be really good for under the eye. It's also probably good for the crease because it fits right in there. It's got a brush, let me show you, that has a nice, it tapers to a nice point, but you can, it's really good for depositing color. And then you could pat it but it, it doesn't splay things all over the place it starts small and that's nice if you want to do things in a specific area and what we're going to do is we are going to go in this color called moonlight okay and I'm getting it on both sides of the brush tap off the excess and I am going to go just starting along the lash line maybe go for maybe half an inch i'm not doing wing out here i'm stopping here following the curve of the eyeball i'm definitely going to need to put some more in it really helps if you don't have that first shadow down too far, you want to have some skin that's just exposed with the uh, foundation. And then do the other eye. And if there's any skin, w w appearance of bare skin in between this and this, w what you're looking for is this to exactly meet up with the color that was previously put on. If you feel that there's any skin exposed, oh, oh my goodness, oh, damn, I went with the wrong brush. Damn, 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 damn. Now, I'm going to make sure that I don't screw this up because I don't want to okay see this is live in that I'm not going to be splicing together a bunch of edit stuff I'm going to film this all the way straight through okay I'm going to dip this where it goes this is Lumi again just up here 
I see you. And you're not disappearing on me, little girl. Excuse me, let me grab her. Ah, where are you going? Excuse me. Where are you going? Uh, I asked you a question. Oh, boy. I asked you where you're going. Where are you going? I'm trying to do a video here. Do you mind? Do you mind? Between him threatening to urinate where you don't do that, to you trying to abdicate the presence premises? What? I'm trying to do a video. Do you mind? Okay. Thank you. Let me do my video. Thank you, little girl. Come on now. Be good. Where were I? Was I? Okay now. No bare skin in between this and this. This is just like the bottom part. And I hope they both are symmetrical. I hate it when I'm finished making a video and I look at it and I do see the thumbnail and the eyes don't match. I, on this time, and I almost forgot to do the thumbnail for the previous one. So I just went and did the thumbnails for that, uh, for that video and for this one before filming so that the cats wouldn't leave. You know. And on there, such bastards, they both uh, must have known that I was about gone to film last night and they both left. And not 10 minutes after I was done filming, Tabby Boy comes marching in my room. I'm like, you dirty dog, you. They're not stupid. They are not stupid. I, I, I sell them short when I call them dumb dumbs and stuff. Then again, when I have food and it's six inches from their face and they don't register that it's food, and it's like, come on, man. Okay, so for my eyeliner, I'm not going to put anything on the top eyeliner, but on the bottom, I'm going to use the new ColourPop cream gel color and they're calling this prance and i'm using a little maybelline uh eyeliner brush and uh these you really want to make sure that th this stuff will cake on you you can't reuse a brush uh two days in a row if you're going to use the same color i tried that the stuff hardens on the brush and even can become a little bit of a challenge to clean up Especially the longer the fibers are, then the stuff gets harder, and you've got to really, sometimes you have to use a fingernail to really scrub it good. So, because I clean my brushes, even if they don't seem they have cake on things, I clean them after every use. Some people say that you can get away with doing it weekly, but nah, germs multiply. And especially if you have to touch up your makeup during the day, like I've had to use uh, just plain old hand, cheap hand lotion to touch to my eyelids to soften up the crusty uh makeup you know when you have eyeshadow and your tears your eyes get teary eyed and it takes off this much of your eyeshadow and then it's all the texture is uneven and it looks like hell because half your bare skin's exposed so you have to take like plain lotion and tap that around there to soften it up and then apply the foundation and reconstruct it it's a real pain in the butt so Times like that makes me wish that I had taken the time to put on some waterproof things. Like uh, my mascara was, uh, I wore mascara yesterday and my eyelashes got wet. My I started tearing up and it started coming off right here and it got on my eyeliner. And I hate it when I take the time to use a colored eyeliner and mascara smears on it. So, that, so I've been wearing more and more not wearing mascara or wearing different colored mascaras that don't mess things up. Okay, I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it right up against the lash line. I'm going to try initially for as narrow a line as possible. I may decide to thicken it up a little. I'm going almost to the corner. The reason why I'm not going all the way to the corner is because I want the glow from this glittery iridescent color that caught in there. I want that to stay in there and it looks like a highlight. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. I don't know if you saw up close my doing this. Just in the beginning, all you have to do is barely touch it. Scrape off the excess if there is any. You really want to keep the caps on these tight because once they dry out, they become useless. And you're paying $5 or more 
for an eyeliner. It's an investment. And this sort of thing could last you your lifetime if you keep it tight, or at least five years, depending. Now, now the directions, the thing, the packaging probably says after a couple years, you should throw it out. But come on, it, are you going to do that? Does anybody really do that? Obviously, if it starts smelling scuzzy, then you would throw it out. But I would think it would dry up and become used, unable to use before that happens. And I've kept things for years and years and my face hasn't fallen off. So I'm not suggesting that you copy whatever YouTuber does because some of us don't have a lick of sense, but others of us have been around and have done things and we are guinea pigging on ourselves and with our own lives to, so that we can maybe prevent you from making mistakes and hurting yourselves. Like when I got my contact dermatitis from that uh, fake henna stuff, uh, I'm telling you, I wouldn't wish that on anybody except, well, maybe a few of my enemies that are serving right, but no, I really, that was really, not cool. I mean, anybody getting an aller allergy to a dye that they use that has become a part of their routine, part of how they make themselves feel like the real version of themselves, and then all of a sudden you can't use it anymore because you're allergic. I mean, that really sucks. That would be like uh, getting, uh, discovering, uh, developing an allergy to one of your favorite foods, you know? You have to change how you live your life and take your being deprived of something that gave you pleasure because all of a sudden it's hurting you it's almost like getting clean and sober having you know these things gave me pleasure before but they become more and more poisons and i realize that my life is better off to not do them and you know but man having a getting an allergy to something that just sucks now if you get think you're getting an allergy to a cat do not give up your cats you can get shots for allergies by the way just so since we're on the subject of allergies, because some people like to use allergy as an excuse to get rid of an animal, and then you give it to a kill shelter, and then after seven days, they kill it. And that makes me really sick, and I can get on a real tangent about that. So, anyway, you check for um, these looking symmetrical. You really do want to try. And you know what? I want to dip some more into that pot, because I don't think there's as much of it on this side. You know, Ace used to do the same thing a Tabby Boy does. I keep him locked in the room, and I don't let him out, and he would pee on things. Any paper that ever fell on the floor was fair game for that cat to pee on. One of my nicknames for him was a mad pisser. Oh, I miss that cat. But I, I hated the way Tabby Boy treated him. And I seen Tabby Boy and Cassie together interacting, and they'll be in the kitchen, and Cassie will, literally, will do so many things to intimidate him. She'll get in between him and the water bowl or the food bowl, and he tries to pass her by to go and take a drink of water, and she'll hiss at him. And sometimes when she when he passes by her, she'll swat at him. I've seen it happen. Everybody in this house has seen it happen. Generally speaking, if there's somebody or Tabby Boy will be afraid, and he'll be waiting down the hall, or she'll be one end of the hall, and she'll give him a dirty look. And they'll be like, maybe they might be 15 or 20 feet away, or they could be maybe 6 feet away. And she really is mean to him. I'm sure these are some of her survival skills that she had when she was out in the garden having to deal with skunks and raccoons and not every human being was kind, even though people seemed to dote on her and love her and there was people that would take pictures of her and stuff and tourists would take pictures of her. All right, you know what? I think I need to put a little bit more of this eyeshadow on. If I can find the brush, I really don't want it contaminate these lighter colors with a brush that had a darker color in it. Um, I keep on thinking that it's come off a little bit on one edge. You know what? If I can't find out what I'm going to do since my hand seems clean, I'm going to just dip it into this matte color. Again, it's called Moonlight. And tap it now, I don't want to go up into the crease. I really want to keep it only to this half inch. Why do I feel that this is a little bit wider than this? I hope it's not. If it is, then I will just sweep this until I think it's the same. Okay. All right, now... Here's what we're going to do for mascara. Uh, I bet I got this three or four years ago, so technically I should have thrown it out by now. 
but this is a mascara by NYX and it's their color mascara and I'm sure the color is called purple and now I'm looking at what I see in the uh, on the monitor and this looks a lot more purple than what I see on my screen right now but you can see that definitely compared to this it's not blue I am using this on my upper lashes only I didn't want black because I didn't want to have it inevitably it always smudges and it ruins the look again I'm using mascara less and less because of the smearing factor it really I know that there's things you can do some people use uh, a uh, spoon and they put it on their on your eyelid and they do that maybe I should do that sometime maybe I'm just lazy but just the smearing just gets on my nerves and I don't always feel like using all these contraptions especially if I'm only going to, to go mail a letter and whatever or maybe the Wi-Fi is acting up again and 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 all oh, Wi-Fi that's its own little complicated drama which I'll tell you about it sometime so carefully I'm applying it to the upper lashes only since it is not black it's not going to be as high contrast it's not going to be as harsh I don't want something to detract from the fragile blue colors that I'm wearing A lot of times when I don't bother wearing mascara I actually like the fact that my lashes naturally look very blonde very pale they look almost white compared to the dark eyeshadows the only thing is they're not really long but they're still they're almost Nordic they're very uh, northern European ice queen kind of albino-ish I think albinos are very beautiful I mean, that's the one thing that would make me make peace with my lack of dark eyebrows naturally but I just I don't choose to go out without coloring my eyebrows because I think it looks so unfinished and I really wish that I could safely dye my hair without it Without, I'm so afraid of another allergic reaction and maybe I can get uh, another kind of henna and just make sure it doesn't have that PPD but you can't always trust the packaging especially if you're going you're buying based on price which I typically do if there's five brands of something I will usually get the most inexpensive one unless I know for absolute sure that there's some bona fide reason safety wise or other not to buy that inexpensive thing like if it's food and the cheapest thing is halal I won't buy it because it supports Islamic uh, it's a whole the jizzy attacks and, and well actually no the jizzy attacks is for unbelievers but halal it, it supports some good charities but there's at least uh, one seventh of them are terror things like Hamas and stuff and I do not believe in supporting those things that contribute that want my demise I do buy kosher though I support Israel I know this wasn't a political video but I I will say that I am a proud Zionist that I find it very offensive there are people that want to do divestments and sanctions against the state of Israel Israel is our uh, most uh, trustworthy uh, and actually our only ally really in the Middle East and we owe them our allegiance and we owe them protection and now uh, they're the religious people that will believe that hey they're the chosen people and the God says he'll bless those that bless them and everything whatever you choose to believe I support Israel okay and Cassie what do you think and yes this is a pentagram I know it's not a star of David I'm not confused or anything it just happens to be what I was wearing I didn't know I was going to be talking about this stuff even though I figured that since I was wearing this shirt that has, says Trump on it maybe it would be an excuse to talk about a few political things oh uh, and while I'm doing that hey congratulations Trump for uh, them voting not to impeach you and all that stuff because it was all bullshit waste of taxpayer dollars and it's based on all bunch of lies and trumped up charges and stuff and it's so ridiculous um the blush color that I'm wearing 
is from CoverGirl. I've had this so long. I this is I'm surprised it still exists and but it doesn't smell skanky or anything. I don't remember what the color was. It is uh, a color that like I said having had so long I know that according if you believe in all the things talking about how long you've had things. Hold on a second. Cassie is up on the computer thing and she is going to step on the remote and she's going to change the channel and we don't want her to do that because she got because he paused on the remote even though I can clean it with bleach water. Hello. Can I finish doing my video please? Excuse me. Can I I know you want to leave my room. I'm trying to do a video here. Can I do my video? Come on. Not everybody can wake up beautiful like you. Okay, let me finish putting my makeup on. Thank you. I know you too. Anyway, um, I'm cleaning off my hand again. I will swatch this color for you. It looks probably more annoying than it is. It actually is fairly subtle. And um, there is a color almost identical to it that was made by Revlon. And one time I happened to be in Las Vegas. This was back. I don't want to even say the year because you think guys will think I'm old. But I was with... Um, well, somebody who liked to go to Las Vegas to gamble, play craps with the rent money. Okay. And there just happened to be some kind of uh, makeup uh, pop-up store in town that was selling uh, Revlon products. But I was hoping that they would be... Uh, I'm watching you. I was hoping that it would be at a discount, but they weren't. They were full price, which at the time was, I thought, was obscenely priced. But as years went on, uh, their prices had increased. So now I would think of it almost reasonable. But anyway, um, I ended up getting a blush. I ended up getting some foundations. I ended up getting mascara. I remember this. Uh, I think he was playing some kind of game that I knew absolutely nothing about. And this was like right next door or something. And it, come on, it was a makeup store. And uh, I can't resist. But I was disappointed that there were no bargains there. Because this was during a time when the food was really cheap in Las Vegas. Uh, and I've heard that those days are long gone. It's been so long since I've been there. Anyway, I'm putting this mascara on. And let me check in the mirror and see if I got it on equally. And don't you do anything if you get on my belt. And spank your little butt. I wouldn't do that. She never goes underneath. All right. This looks pretty. Um, does it look symmetrical to you? It looks symmetrical to me. I'm going to turn the light on here. I, I was thinking that light was always a little bit too bright. So I moved it back a little bit. And I can't, when I, I tried plugging in that other light on the other side, but the cord won't reach that. Uh, I have this weirdest power strip. Let me show you this. This power strip, I can only use one side of it. Uh, I'm going to have to unplug this so that I can lift this up. Unless I could actually, unless you could see it from here. Uh, here. Do you see that? Only one side of this works. The side that says always on. There's three outlets available to me. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outlets not available to me. I could plug things in and nothing works. I have tried flipping another switch on there, some kind of on off switch or circuit breaker, or whatever. This is one of those power strips that uh, if there it's a surge protection and all that bullshit. Even though I've had them fail, when Hurricane Ernesto uh, came to town, we, I was living in a different part of the city, and the Hurricane Ernesto caused, I had a web TV that was plugged into one of those bad boys, and it's still shorted out. And and the television that it was attached to also. And it, this was in the days of, uh, I still had a dial-up Verizon connection. And dial-up, that was a lot of fun. And the web TV, oh yeah. Uh, I talk about pain in the butts, but yeah, those things are not really that great when there's power surges, but yeah, I can only plug in three things at one time. And so the uh, light doesn't, there's not room for the light. And this computer here is on battery power now because the cord isn't long enough to go in that with everything else. And it certainly isn't long enough to go over there. So anyway, 
Um, but I already told you what the lipstick was. I told you what the blush was. The highlight was my B&H Cosmetics Black and Light Highlight. And I used the blue shade here. It's called Queen. K-W-E-E-N. And I did that here, here, here. Hmm. Hmm. Little here, little over here. And that was how I did this look. So I got to find a good name for this book. I'm sure I can't say easy, pale, blue, Democrats, whitey, that they fo about the foil Trump uh, impeachment thing. That's not probably a good video name for it, but I'm sure tempted to do it because I'm kind of mischievous like that. So if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you like me and my content, I'd love to have you subscribe. You know who else would like to have me? you subscribe? My little Cassie girl. And she would tell you, if she could speak English, that if you hit that bell thing, it'll look like it's ringing. And that'll mean that you don't want to miss anything I post. And I try my best to have my kitties in my videos because they have something to say, especially this one. She really likes to steal the show because she's saying, I don't need makeup. I'm a beautiful girl. Yes, you are, baby. I love you. So... I'll talk to you soon. Bye.